Ironically enough, in my own military situation, when I went in, I was very determined to see it from a homoerotic perspective. And I'm pleased I did. I mean, the first time I heard the word, I didn't know what it meant. And Paul was my sister's boyfriend. Uh, he was quite unflattering. So when it was directed at me, I, I realized it's directed at just about everybody that didn't fit into the alpha back. I think I realized quite young that I was attracted to boys. So I didn't think of myself as gay. I sort of thought it was a normal period where boys are attracted to boys. So that must have been about 14. You know, when I went to university, I thought, well, you know, it's kind of the phase is over now. So I got a girlfriend that I really liked and soon a boyfriend. <laughs> After I finished university, I went into, into a complete la-la land mode. I was accepted to do honours. In that year, I'd gone to Vienna. So I had it all planned. Well, little did I know, there's this letter waiting for me saying I've got two days to go. You know, so I rocked up with tons of aggression <laughs> and attitude. Definitely convinced that I'm, I'm not going to back down. But I think they sensed my situation and I think then they really loaded it up. So I was very exhausted. I mean, by the time I was at the end of my basics, as thin as I was when I went in, I must have lost 15 kilos. I think I had a bit of a masochistic sense of wanting the confrontation. I had to get rid of some of my anger, but I did regret it. <laughs> so the residual anger that I had from the army worked, served me well because of the fact that I became a gay activist. So I needed to take on the, the taunts and the attacks. And, you know, when I really became very vocal, I founded Africa's first gay business association. I had all these death threats. And I think if it wasn't for that anger, I would have probably backed down. I've always kind of forced myself to ask myself very uncomfortable questions. So, you know, I had to f confront myself. You know, I was really determined to kind of move on and kind of stick to the the normal pattern. You've got a girlfriend, you stay together, eventually you get engaged and then eventually you get married, then you have kids. Then suddenly when you are like in your 40s, you decide to divorce and come out. Uh, then you could explain 25 years of lies. And the interesting thing is I fortunately realized that that just wouldn't be possible. You know, the longer you live the lie, the worse it is. <laughs> 